Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making a guitar cake. A couple of weeks ago I asked you what your favourite bands and artists were and we have collated up all of those comments, there were so many, and we'll be counting them down throughout this video and we'll also add those bands to the cake later on too. Let me know in the comments if your favourite one made the cut. First thing you'll need to do is print out the template and you can get that and all the recipe quantities and sizes on the howtocookthat.net website and I'll link to that below. Once you've printed it, cut it out and then line up the join here marks and then just tape that together. Now we want to make the frets out of fondant so they have time to dry out. And I'm using a fondant extruder for this. You could roll them by hand but they're so long it would be very tricky to get them this perfect. Once they are on the board, use a cutting board or a ruler or something just to straighten them up. Now for the strings, I'm doing the same thing but using a different disc on the extruder so you get finer snakes. And then line those up so they are exactly straight. And as I said, I'm making these the day before so that they can dry out. If you're doing it on the same day as you're making the cake, then you might need to add some Tylo's powder to the fondant to make it dry out quicker. The artist that came in at number 10 according to your votes was Beyonce and on the template you'll see each of the band's logos and you'll need to print those out with edible ink on rice paper. There are lots of cake places online that can print them out for you if you just send them the A4 sheet and then just cut those out so they look like stickers that we can add to the guitar. For the cake part you'll need sugar, flour, margarine, dark chocolate, baking powder, cocoa powder and eggs. Add the cocoa powder to the flour and then add in your baking powder and whisk those together. This just aerates it and it also gets rid of any lumps. We especially don't want any lumps of cocoa powder in there. Add the chocolate to the margarine and melt them together in the microwave. Once they're melted just use a whisk to whisk them together so that that margarine is combined with the chocolate. Pour that chocolate mixture into a big bowl and add in the sugar and the eggs. And yes, this is a lot of ingredients because it is a big cake. Turn on the whisk on your mixer. Now it's no problem to whisk this by hand. If you don't have a mixer, just use some mussels and mix it together. Put it on low speed and add in your flour, cocoa powder and baking powder mixture. Now at number nine on the chart, you voted for Queen. Even years after the death of lead singer Freddie Mercury, their epic anthems are still party favorites from Bohemian Rhapsody right through to Don't Stop Me Now. Keep whisking until that is just combined and you can't see any more flour. Then tip that into some baking trays. You want to bake it in three trays. Now I can only bake two at once in my oven, so I'll bake the third tray once the first two are done. This cake is so long that it's not going to fit in the fridge. So what I'm going to do is cut a cake board that fits just the body of the guitar. That way we can put that end in the fridge before we cover it in fondant. For the neck we want to make a mould so that we can make that bit out of solid chocolate. Take some core flute board and make an indent along the edges of the neck. Don't cut all the way through, you're just wanting to make an indent there. Then leave a wider border and cut out a rectangle around that and then cut out a square from each corner. At number eight, you voted for Sia, the first of the Aussie artists on the list. I actually saw her perform recently at a Google event in New York. Fold up the edges of your boxes along the lines that you made and because the indent is there, you'll find it easy to get a nice straight line. Tape it together at the corners to make a box. And now you want to do that same thing for the head of the guitar and one more littler box and I'll put the size of that on the template. Melt some chocolate and then temper it and I have a video explaining how and why to temper the chocolate. If you search for Reardon Chocolate Secrets you'll find it. Once that is done pour the tempered chocolate into each mould and then tap it on the bench to smooth it out on the top. With the smallest box you need to tilt it to one side and support it there while it's setting so that the chocolate sets on an angle. Roll out some black fondant and cut out the shape of the bridge. Now at number seven we have Pentatonics, an acapella group from Texas. They won NBC's The Sing Off back in 2011 and are still going strong with their own YouTube channel. 
Then we want to cut an extra strip of black and place it over the top and trim it to the right size. Then cut a strip of white for the saddle and add that into place in the center. Then use your template to make indents where the strings go. Now for the top of the tuners, find something that is round. I'm using a piping coupler and cut out a circle of black fondant. When making easy fondant details like this, I always like to make more than I need so that I can choose the best ones at the end. Roll a snake of black and then cut short strips and then roll it between your thumb and fingers just to round it out again. When you cut it with the knife, it tends to get a bit flattened. Then use a little bit of water and add them to the center of each of the discs. For the underneath of the tuning mechanism, cut out a piece of black in the shape shown. At number six, you voted for Taylor Swift. It looks like Tay Tay will never go out of style. If you're a Swifty, make sure you also watch the Blank Space Heart Cake after this one. I'll link to it at the end. Use a piping tip to make an indent at the top and the bottom, and then indent a line across and another one going across that so it looks like the top of a screw. Cut another circle of black and then squash it slightly, then flatten it on each side, giving it the shape of the tuning pegs. Now using a little water, you want to join the base plate and the peg together using a snake of fondant. Then take some gold luster dust and brush it all over the black pieces. At number five, you voted for the British boy band One Direction. For those of you devoted 1D fans, you'll also love the surprise inside 1D cake and I'll link to that at the end too. But between the layers of the cake, I'm gonna use my basic buttercream recipe flavored with some vanilla and the recipe for that is on the website. Once your cakes are cooled and leveled, Cut out the guitar shape using your template and then add some buttercream to the cake board so that the cake doesn't slip around. Then slide the first layer of cake on top of the cake board. Cover that in a thin layer of jam and then a layer of buttercream over the top. Try to get it as level as you can and then add your next layer of cake. Now, if you just pull the baking paper around underneath the tray, it allows the cake to slide off and you can easily position it where you want it so that it's lined up with the other cake. Add the jam, buttercream, and next layer of cake, and then cover that whole thing in buttercream all the way around the edges, trying to get it as smooth as possible. And then if you have any buttercream that is sticking up, just push that in towards the middle. And then you wanna put that in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Now that the chocolate is set, you can cut the tape at the corners and take it out of the container. At number four, you voted for Five Seconds of Summer, another Australian band. They got their start right here on YouTube. For the head of the guitar, place the template over the top and shape it a little so that it's not completely flat. It kind of curves in at the top there. Now we want to join the head to the neck and it's not flat, it goes at an angle. So check the template to see how far it should sit and trim the chocolate at the join if you need to. Take some more chocolate and add it to the join and push them together and then support that while you wait for it to set. Just double check your angle is right and smooth off any excess from the join. At the other end, add the piece of chocolate from the smaller box and add a little curve of chocolate at the join. Now measure the height of that piece and cut a cake pop stick to the same height. Make a little hole in the neck and using some chocolate, add the cake pop stick into place for support. Now you wanna position the body of your guitar on one end of a long cake board, making sure it's straight and then cover that whole thing in white fondant. And then on the edges, just lift and lower, lift and lower so that you can smooth it down all the way around the edges. At number three comes Panic at the Disco. This band has been through so many changes. On the latest album, everything was written and recorded by the only remaining band member, Brendan Yuri. Let me know, do you like the old stuff better than the new stuff? Cut the excess fondant from around the base. And for the parts that are curved, I find it easier to do that using a spoon instead of a knife because it's just the right shape. 
Now the corners here you can see are rounded and you want them to be a bit more sharp. So to do that put something flat on top and then gently push up with your finger and the palm of your hand so that you're like pinching it upwards. Then do the same towards the side and you can see already that that's becoming sharper. A fondant smoother is really helpful when you're doing this and it takes a bit of time to go the whole way around so don't try and rush this just do it slowly and carefully until it looks nice and sharp. Now roll out some more white fondant and add it to the top of the head of the guitar so that we can make it match the body in the colour. Now to turn it into a wood look I'm using brown gel colour, a little bit of black, yellow and orange and then I'm adding a bit of vodka. Now we're going to just get the brush and just put that on in long brush strokes from top to bottom. Now the alcohol in this is just going to evaporate off so there's not going to be any alcohol left but the reason we're using the alcohol is because it evaporates off it's not going to make your fondant soggy. Take some more of your colour and make the colour a bit deeper towards the edges so it looks a little bit better and then do the same with the sides just brushing on the colour. At number two you voted for BTS it seems like the entire world has gone crazy for K-pop. There were lots of other K-pop requests too and a special shout out to Amber from FX who watches How to Cook That. I also love How to Cook That uh, and Eden. Hi Amber. Now don't forget to add the wood grain to the head of the guitar too and just keep dragging the brush across until you're happy with the look. And while that is still damp add the little posts on top just in place. Use your template to mark where the bridge should go and then add that on top. Put the neck in place and then add a strip of black fondant over the top. Run a knife down the edge of the handle to make it smooth on each side. Now use your template to mark where the sound chamber is and push your cutter down to cut a circle out of the fondant. Take it out and take the buttercream and the fondant out so that we have a layer that dips down a bit. Then add a circle of black fondant into that hole and then paint the inside edge with brown food colour so it looks like it's made out of wood. Place a slightly larger circle cutter on top and then add a thin snake of cream fondant around the cutter nice and tightly there and then you can just lift off the cutter. Add one more slightly bigger indent just for decoration. Add a strip of white just below the head and then using your template add an indent for where each of those strings are going to go. Then mark off where the frets go all the way down the neck and then remove the template and indent them the whole way across so that the little fondant bits can just sit nicely there. Trim the piece that we made at the beginning to the right length for each of the frets and add them going down the neck. Now using some chocolate add the tuning pegs into place underneath on the head. Just hold them for a moment until they set and to join them on I'm just using compound chocolate because it sets really quickly. Then very carefully add the strings into place. Now I made extras of these because I was sure they were going to break but surprisingly they seem quite stable and I didn't break any of them so I've got lots of extras now. <laughs> Trim the ends off to the length you are happy with and then use scissors to cut them to the right length at the top as well. And then I'm just using a tiny bit of chocolate to hold that one in place against the post. If you want to you can also get some fresh fondant and wrap it around in a loop around each post as well. Add your chromatic tuner to the side. Now I've printed this out on rice paper but I also want it to be 3D so I'm just going to add some of the buttons on top just made out of black fondant and then just indent that in the middle there. Add a little dot of white and then add a couple of rectangles on the slider so it looks like it is quite 3D there. Now before we get to number one let's recap. At number 10 was Beyonce, Queen was number 9, at number 8 we had Sia, then Pentatonix followed by Taylor Swift at number 6. Let's just add her signature here using edible marker. Then One Direction scraped in at number 5 followed by 5 Seconds of Summer at number 4. Panic at the Disco made number 3, then BTS number 2 and then at number one the most requested band was 
21 Pilot. I was told when I get older, all my fears would shrink, but now I'm insecure and I care what people think. My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think. So there you have your favourite bands and artists in a cake. If you didn't notice, this is actually a ukulele like the one Tyler plays, not a guitar, but if you want it to be a guitar, you can just add some more strings and you can scale up the size if you need a massive cake. Comment because I care what you think. Subscribe to How to Cook That for more crazy sweet creations. Click here to get the recipe. Here for more cakes, including the One Direction one and the Taylor Swift heart cake as well. And here for the Reardon Bros behind the scenes video. Make it a great week, and I'll see you on Friday.